Still to come on the weekend scene, more on arts as an election issue. Also an art show from people who are usually busy making movies. Over 50 members of the film community are showing off their artistry at the brand new Filmport Complex in Toronto. The collection represents painters, sculptors, photographers and designers. <laughs> We decided to uh, celebrate the talents and the depth of uh, skills of uh, the artists and show what we do outside of the film industry. General public can come down to this and enjoy this show. Um, it's not an elitist champagne sipping um, group of artists. Uh, we all have day jobs and we do this work in our spare time. What you're looking at with a lot of this artwork is also that kind of concealed, in my case, some of the pictures are, are concealed anxiety uh, that comes out of the existence that I have. Um, it's part of what I feel like I'm capturing. Everybody has their own personal vision. Myself, I go up to the Kawarthas for inspiration and I hike in the bush and take photos and make paintings uh, from them. With, uh, with the size of this uh, art show and uh, uh, the quality of it and uh, being able to um, have the audience here to come and see it, I think this will make a statement and hopefully make a difference. Canadian culture is really important, that's the bottom line, and uh, cutbacks are, uh, you know, uh, it, it affects business, it affects our livelihood, our families, and uh, what is, you know, Canadian culture if not this being a part of it? We're an 86 billion dollar industry in the arts in general. All the industry and all the revenue that we generate uh, the whole community benefits from it. I'm one of the very few lucky people that's working right now. I'm taking a day off to be here. Um, but uh, there's so many people that, that are struggling, and they're struggling with great dignity. Definitely need more support from the government for tax credits and uh, just uh, general support. Nothing can kill art and uh, art is in us.